Hi, I'm Neil Gallagher. I'm the course leader for Computer Games Art and Design. Uh, I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about what we'd like to see in the portfolio. Uh, before, so when you come here, you have a portfolio ready. Um, ideally, we'd like to see a range of um, art skills. So from traditional skills, uh, digital skills, any digital skills that you have is always a good thing, and any 3D modeling skills would be great to see that. The artwork we like to see in the portfolio is uh, normally a mixed medium. So uh, if you've got any oil paints or pastels or charcoal, pencil drawings, any form of media, um, piece them together and in, in, uh, bring you can bring the original artwork along, that would be great. If you're doing work in Photoshop or um, Maya or any uh, 3D program, then please just uh, print those out, uh, just in case the files do, you know, if you have a USB and it does corrupt. So just bring those along in a printed version so we can review those in the portfolio day. Uh, as well as um, all those traditional skills, we do like to see life drawing. So if you have got any life drawing, please bring that along. Um, as, as well as that, if you could do animal studies, that's a really good thing to see. And uh, maybe have a look at some ana anatomy studies. Uh, maybe you want to have a go at just drawing the skeletal structure and then maybe even have a crack at some of the muscle structures. That'd be really good to see some of that. Have a look at people, artists like Andrew Loomis for inspiration. That's a really good thing to do. Um, on top of that, if you've got any sculptures, uh, clay sculptures is a great thing to do. Uh, don't bring the original sculpture along, but just uh, some, some images, some photos off that, and uh, some, maybe two or three of your, your favourite angle off that sculpture. That would be great to see that. As well as all these art skills, one of the skills, if you want to focus on characters, we, we definitely like to see uh, a, a whole collage of, of art skills based around the character design. So if you can do front, front three-quarter, back side type views, um, maybe some close-ups off the face is always a good thing. And um, if you really want to get push, the, push the envelope a little bit, then some facial reactions would be good. Um, you know, happy, sad, angry, uh, maybe even some of the um, phonemes for the, for the lips would be really good to see. Um, and then maybe some fabric designs would be good uh, to accompany that character. And then maybe some of the accessories, if he's carrying a weapon, a shield, sword, helmet, anything like that would be good. Anything that helps explain the character. Uh, as for environments, if you're more of an environment artist, then we'd like to see, uh, as well as the you have them go at maybe a 3D model of the um, in Maya. Um, if not, then drawing skills of, of the uh, environment is fine. So we'd like to see uh, some perspective drawings. We're not really interested in one point perspective, so a minimum of two would be great. If you can push it to three, four, uh, that'd be great. But three is uh, you know what we expect is is a good skill to have. Um, as well as that, if you can do top-down, side-type views of the environment to help explain it, maybe some little lines and a little accompanying note explaining what those elements are, bridges, drawbridges, um, or just entrances, anything like that, trap doors and so on, that's a really good skill to have. So it helps it, yeah, show you as an environment artist that you're thinking about the maps, you're thinking about the design of it. And, uh, and if we can get a flavour of what that is, so is it medieval, is it sci-fi futuristic, um, that's a really good skill to have as well. If you are doing paintings, uh, one of the things we like to see is just uh, different colour palettes. So have a go at uh, a range of colours, that's really good. Uh, maybe you want to do a scene with a uh, different time of day, nighttime uh, scene, and then uh, followed by the, the uh, could be a morning light scene or an evening twilight scene. And just think about the colours that you get at twilight, those sort of purple hues that you might get in the summer's evening. Those sort of things are really good to help explain the environment. So for 3D models, uh, we're not so interested in what software you use. Don't mind if it's Maya or Blender or um, 3D Max. We really don't mind anything you want to use. Um, we just want to see you have a go. And um, because you're going to be spending a lot of time here building 3D models and hopefully progress into a, a career in that area. So we want to make sure that you're happy sitting down making 3D models. Um, and, uh, and just see what you can come up with. I'm not interested in uh, big complex um, shapes, just simple little items. Uh, could be just the mouse that's in your hand when you're using a keyboard, could be a camera, it could be um, any item, tennis racket, anything like that. Just have a go at building something in 3D. Um, if you are a more accomplished artist, then have a go at building some more complicated shapes. Could be a plane, tank, vehicle, and so on. Uh, maybe an environment building, something like along those lines. If you want to have a go at uh, doing something in real time, um, I probably would recommend using the Unreal Engine. There's lots of tutorial content uh, there, but if you want to have a go at the Unity Engine or um, uh, the Cry Engine or Lumberyard, anything like that, we, we, I don't mind what you use. Just have a go uh, and um, we're not really interested in huge environments that are, that are going to be probably weakly populated with lots of assets. So try and condense it down in just a, a small little environment 
uh, and just see, see, what, see what you come up with. Um, use a lot of the um, tutorials just to sort of uh, learn the basics of those um, games engines. That'd be a really good skill to have. Um, Maybe you're a fae with uh, scripting, so you might want to uh, have a look at um, Python or um, C++ or Blueprints in um, Unreal Engine, anything along those lines that might help you uh, make a game or um, a script maybe that you've built um, inside um, Maya to, to automate some tools or um, even just some of the basics of uh, in Unreal of maybe opening a door, turning on a light, anything along those lines. If you have got more sophisticated things, then that's a great thing to have as well. Maybe you've had a go at some um, artificial intelligence systems of characters following you around in a game. Anything along those lines is great as well. But um, any, yeah, some of the basics is fine as well. Uh, we'd definitely like to see sketchbooks. So bring any sketchbooks that you've got uh, along and um, please make sure that they are your own drawings. I'm not so interested in you know, cutting out artists and sticking them down and um, you know, explaining about them and, and so on. So just like to see your own artwork really. Um, so if you're not sure what to do, um, you might be more uh, for 3D artists for example, so you're learning the basics of, of drawing. Just draw anything that's in front of you. Just draw your hand in different positions. Um, again, Andrew Loomis is very good to, to read up on that and how to do that. Um, it could be uh, just objects that are in front of you, the, the house plant, telly, uh, rug, anything, just anything that's around you. If you can go out on location drawings, then that's great. Um, uh, I'd like to draw a building from like three different angles and you really start to pick up the details there. Um, so that's a, a great skill to have as well. Uh, in your sketchbooks, we like to see lots of original artwork. So um, try to limit your fan art. If you are doing any fan art, then um, obviously just please credit those artists. But uh, just just stick to um, just doing uh, your own original artwork, that'd be great. Portfolios of uh, successful applicants generally are about 10 to 15 pages long, um, just the best artwork. Uh, obviously we don't expect you to cover everything that I've just talked about, like whether it's um, environment art and characters or sketchbooks or portfolios. So just, it's obviously going to be a range of those, just two, two or three, but um, what we like to see is just quality. So 10 to 15 really good pages rather than you know, 40 to 50 pages of um, weak quality artwork. When you uh, come to the interview, uh, please just enjoy the day, be yourself and uh, explain the artwork, explain what you've made. Uh, I definitely like to see lots of different creations and I like to learn how you've made it or what the inspiration was. So feel free to, to talk about your artwork. It's, um, and then I get to sort of know who you are as a person, what your influences are. And maybe I can give you some suggestions of various different artists at the forefront to, to have a look at. We look forward to meeting you.